Hi everyone, welcome back to Pure Lottie. So today's video is the February Lumi boxes. So I have both boxes here, the base and the premium. So if you wanna see what I got in this month's Lumi boxes, then make sure you keep watching. And if you like today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family, hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's jump in. I do have an affiliate code with Lumibox. So if you would like to save 10% on your first Lumibox, then you can use the code PureLottie10. I will add it in the comments as well for you. I do make a small commission off of this. I had three people use my code last month. So I want to send out a massive thank you to those that did use it. I really, really do appreciate it. So now let's get into the most exciting part. What did we get in this month's boxes? So just jumping in super quickly to let you know I have a giveaway going on on my Instagram. So if you would like to enter, head on over. My Instagram handle is purelotty one So this month I did receive the boxes with the new packaging and I am in love. I mean, look at me, I'm all, I'm all in pink today. Like my hair's pink, my makeup's pink, I'm wearing pink and the boxes are pink. I am in love. So let's jump in and have a look what I got. So first box is the base box. These retails for $49 and you normally get five products. Now they have changed the little cards as well. So it's still the thank you card. It's got all of their socials on the other side and to tag them. And then they have a separate card now with all the products listed on them and it tells you a bit about them and where you can buy them from. Now, I really like this because sometimes you want to purchase it if you do really like it. So I love the fact that they have put links of where you can repurchase. So first box looks like this. So it's got the bubble wrap and the bright pink tissue paper. So let's go in with the skincare first. As most of you would know, um, I am not using any new skincare at the moment until my dermatologist can let me know what I am reacting to. I'm sticking to my basic skincare. So the first product we've got in the base box is from Low and Grip. So this is the Healthy Glow Body Balm. So it's for glowing skin quick absorption, firming and hydrating and it looks like this. It is a pump bottle and it is 200 mils and this retails for $39. So this is available from Adore Beauty, Maya or directly from the Lowen Group website. So the second product in the base box that is skincare is from Murad and it is an AHA and BHA exfoliating cleanser. So it looks like this. It is massive. It is 200 mils and it says to use massage a small amount over dampened face and neck, rinse with warm water and pat dry. For optimal results, use two to three times weekly and avoid contact with eyes. It does say it is also dermatologist developed, so that is really good. So this retails for $62 and this is available from Adore Beauty, sephora.com.au or murad.com.au. So in the next three products are all makeup products. So I'm super excited. So let's go in with the Wonder Beauty Wondrous Dust to Dawn Blush and Highlighter Palette. So it looks like this. So let's give a quick look. It says it's got the shades City Lights, Havana Nights and Tuscan Sunrise in it. Okay, so this is the inside of the packet is the same as the front of the box. Okay, it's got a mirror in it. It does have a plastic sheet, which I'm going to leave on it. And this is what it looks like. Now, looking at this, it looks very dark. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to swatch it or use it. I think what I'll do is I'm going to pop it in a future giveaway just because I am so pale. I think it would suit someone with a bit of a darker skin tone. So yeah, I'll pop this in a future giveaway. So that palette retailed for $37 and you can get it from wanderbeauty.com. The next product is from Folly Fire. It looks like this, it's a lipstick. It almost looks like Fully Fire. So this is a lipstick in the shade Full House. And this retails for $24 and you can buy this directly on their website, which is fullyfire.com. So this is the packaging. This is actually really nice and luxury. I love their little symbol on top as well. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a really pretty color. What I'm going to do is I have peeked in the other box already um because i've already taken some pictures for my instagram um and i have got another shade as well so i think what i'm going to do with this lipstick i'm not going to swatch it i think i might pop this in the giveaway just because it is such a deep uh lipstick i also have a lipstick hoarding problem and I'm trying to be better about it. So um, I think I might pop this in the giveaway. So the last product in the base box is an Inglot, Inglot Pure Pigment Eyeshadow. So it comes in the box like this. And I got the shade 86 in this box. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on camera, but these are like shimmer glitter pigments. And it is absolutely stunning, but it gives off different color reflex. So this is the inside. I'm just going to take some from the lid. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. <gasps> Did you see that? It is like gold but it like reflects like pink oh my goodness oh i hope you can see that on camera that is stunning i cannot wait to put that all over my eyes oh my goodness i'm so excited for that one so that one retails for $35 and you can get that direct from their website inglockcosmetics.com.au So I've just done my first eye using shade 86 from the Inglot Pure Pigment Eyeshadows. Um, so it looks like this. You can see I did have some fallout. Obviously, like this is, is a loose pigment. So you're going to end up with fallout. So I would always recommend doing your eyes before your face if you're using a loose pigment. It is so easy to apply. I literally used a neutral brown shade so I used from my NARS palette this brown here the matte brown and popped that in my crease I did have my P. Louise base primer on already in shade zero so the white shade and then I just went on with a small brush and I popped it on and blended it a little bit then I went back in and packed it on to get the most amount of pigment and it literally took me like 30 seconds to do this eye. This eye took a bit longer because it was my first time playing with it. But then I went in and took 30 seconds for the other eye. So I am in love and super impressed. But I will do a check-in and see how it's holding up later. Hey guys, so checking in on the Inglot shadow. There is no creasing. It looks stunning. There has not been any fallout on my cheeks or anything. So I'm really, really impressed with it. I really like it and I can't wait to keep playing with it.
So the total of the base box came to 197 Australian dollars, but I paid $49. So as always, this is amazing, amazing value for money. So let's jump onto the premium box now. So the same thing with the premium box, it has tissue paper and bubble wrap in here. We have the thank you card with all the socials on the back. And then we have the card with all the products. So this one, I got seven products. So I'm excited to see what I got in this one. Okay, so product number one is a sheet mask and it's a pomegranate sheet mask. Um, this is from Tony Moly and it retails for $8.25. Just looks like this. And you can get it from Maya, etonymoly.com.au or beautybay.com. So this is a sheet mask that is Korean based. Uh, Korean sheet masks are always really, really, really nice. So I'm excited for someone to try this. I, the next product is also a skincare product and it is from Low and Grip again. And it is their Healthy Glow Body Scrub. So it says for glowing skin, gentle and effective, even skin texture. And it is 125 mils and it looks like this. And this one here retails for $49. It is also available from Adore Beauty, Maya, or directly on the Low and Grip website. So the third product in the premium box is another one of those lipsticks, which I thought it would be. So this one is Sunset Boulevard. So again, it is in the same really pretty packaging. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm going to pop the other one in the giveaway because the other one was way deeper. Let me show you. So you can see there that this one is quite deep and more of like a reddy brown tone, whereas this one's more of like a pinky peachy tone. So I will pop this darker one in a future giveaway that was in the shade Full House and I will keep Sunset Boulevard. So let's give this one a swatch. I'm excited to try the formula actually. Ooh, that's really soft and creamy. That's a really pretty color as well. So again, this retails for $24 and you can get it directly from their website, um, follyfire.com. So I've just used the Folly Fire lipstick. This one is in Sunset Boulevard. It went on really nicely. It's very creamy and smooth to apply. Um, I definitely think maybe pop it with a lip liner. I'm not popping it with one today because I want to test it out and see how it wears without a lip liner first. But this is what it looks like. I think it's a really flattering color. I really like it. It was very pigmented as well. So you didn't have to go on and do too many um, coats. So yeah, it is an absolutely stunning color. Um, it doesn't smell like anything. It, yeah, it's got no smell at all. Um, and as I said, it is nice and, nice and smooth and creamy. So I will check back with you guys later and show you how it is wearing. Hey guys, quick check in on the lips. This is what it is looking like. It has been, I think three or four hours. I'll put the time on the screen for you. Um, but this is what the lips look like. I have been drinking. I've had a little bite to eat as well. I've also had a mask on when I went out to the shops real quick. So I think it's holding up really nicely. It is wearing away more like on the inner and leaving the dark color on the outside um but that's to be expected with any lipstick so yeah it's not not bleeding too much either so that's pretty good hey guys so doing a quick check-in this is what my lips are looking like after about eight hours 
so the next product that I got is from Garbo and Kelly. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but in, I think it was the December box, we got a Garbo and Kelly uh, brow pencil. Now I have been using a brow pencil pretty much ever since then. I really like it. I really enjoy it. The shade is really nice. Um, so I'm excited to try this. This one says that it is back to black duo eyeliner. So this retails for $45 and you can get it directly from garboandkelly.com or Adore Beauty. Okay, so this is what it looks like with no packaging on it. So this long end is like a crayon pencil. So, oh, that's nice and black actually. Let's have a look what the shorter end is. Oh, it's a felt tip like liner. So, oh yes, look at that. I'm excited to try these. I am definitely more of a liquid liner person now. I am still working on my liner, but I'm definitely leaning towards the liquid liner. So I'm excited that one of the ends is liquid. So I have just used the Garbo and Kelly duo eyeliner. So I used the small side today, which is the liquid eyeliner. It went on really, really nicely. It even went over the Inglot loose shadow really nicely. Um, they're obviously not super even, but let's just ignore that. Um, but yeah, it went on really, really, really nicely, really easy. Uh, two things to note though is one, the little tip is actually very soft and bendy. So um, for someone like me who's not a pro at eyeliner, um, I prefer a little felt tip that's a little bit more like hard so it's not so bendy um because i find it easier to control and the other thing to note is that it does take a few seconds to dry down so don't go and put it on and like look up straight away it will transfer or like on the inner corner there be careful that it doesn't transfer down for the first few seconds but i really really like this i will keep you guys updated and let you know whether it transfers or flakes or anything during the day this is what the liner is looking like after eight hours so i'm doing a quick check-in on the eyeliner it has actually been I think 11 or 12 hours now of wear i'm gonna say um the liner does not handle up against heat or sweat. This has transferred quite a bit, as you can see there. Um, I went for an hour while walk and it is quite hot outside. So I think it was about 27, 28 degrees when we went for a walk. It didn't withstand that. So it unfortunately doesn't pass my sweat proof test. Um, and I need it to pass a sweat proof test for me because I am in a chemically induced menopause. So I do have hot flushes. So this one, unfortunately, is going to be a no for me for if I'm going out. But it's good for if I'm just like filming or inside or it's winter even, it may work out then. So I've just gone ahead and used the pencil or crayon side. I've just created a really, really small wing on my eyes today. I want to say this glides on really smoothly. It even went over the Inglot Pure Pigment Shadow. So I was a bit worried it wasn't going to go over it because it is a shimmer pigment but it went on perfect it was really easy to use i've just done a small wing today though so let's see how it handles up
So I've just used the crayon also for my lower lash line. So I didn't put it in my waterline. I just did it underneath. And then I just took a very small brush. This is the Morphe M152. And I just blended it out to give it that smoky smudged look. And it worked really well for that. It didn't dry down super quick or anything. So I was able to work with it really easily. And I just connected up the tiny wing with the lower lash line. Doing a check-in for the liner. So the liner on the top lids still looks pretty good. The bottom looks a bit lighter than what it did at the start. I did go out in the heat for a walk with the dogs earlier. So I did sweat and it is still there. I did do the smoky sort of look though. So it was already like blended out like what it is now. So yeah, I think that it worked much better than the liquid form did and yeah i'm really happy with how it looks i've been wearing it now for about six yeah i think about six hours now so that's pretty good for six hours of wear time and sweating and being out in the elements so three more products we next have another inglot pure pigment eyeshadow and i chose my shade for this one so this one i chose the shade 50 and i'm pretty sure it was the pink shade yeah check this out how pretty is this <gasps> how stunning is this okay let's take some from the lid Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I am speechless. Look at that color. That is beautiful. I seriously like want to go take my makeup off right now and put this all over my eyes instead. I cannot wait to try this. I'm seriously speechless. That color is stunning. That retails for $35 as well and it is available directly from their web website inglotcosmetics.com.au. Um, I'm in love. I think I just found my next makeup look. I'm gonna be trying these. So I've just gone ahead and used shade 50 and oh my gosh. This color is stunning. Look at the difference. I hope it's picking up on camera, like the color shift. It's like orange, but red, but pink. Doing a quick check-in for the shadow. It is still looking stunning. So as you saw, I used my setting spray on my brush today. So I did use it wet and there's no creasing or anything. So I'm super impressed with that. So yeah, really, really happy. So the next product is from Battington Beauty and it is a powder and contour brush set. So it comes in packaging like this and I think this is a really beautiful packaging. Like this is really pretty. Oh wow. These are really beautiful brushes. I love like the simple like gold brushes. Um, there's just something so luxurious about them oh, look at that i just put my fingerprints all over them sorry and this is the other one so it just has battington along there in black writing i'm excited to try these and these heads are super soft these are really nice I can't see any hairs coming out of it, so we'll give them a try, but I'm excited to try these. 
So this retails for $135 and is available from battingtonbeauty.com. So I just use the Battington brushes um, and I really liked them. They're super soft. There was no little hairs falling out at all. Um, it blended really nicely. Absolutely love them. They're perfect for, you know, contouring, blush, bronzer. Um, even you could probably use this for your powder if you're doing a powder foundation or setting your face. So I really enjoy them and I'll definitely be keeping these in my collection. And the lucky last product, I also got to choose from the choice products. So they did have two because it is Valentine's this month. So the uh, second product I got to choose was this Rude Fearless Face Palette. So this was the lighter palette of the two they had up there. So this one retails for $25. And you can get this from discountbeautyboutique.com.au. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And it comes with a mirror. And it has highlight, contour and blush in it. So this is what it looks like. So it looks really pretty. So I think this is like contour and then like blush and then highlighter. But they look really pretty. Let's just give one a swatch. Let's do one of the contours. And one of the blushes. And one of the highlighting. So this is what it looks like. So really pretty. So I'm very excited to try this out as well. So I just used the Brood Cosmetics Fearless Face Palette. So it was this one here. So I actually just used this shade for my bronzer. Um, I did notice it's more of like a contour shade, um, but I have such light skin and I think it actually worked really nice on my skin as sort of like a bronzer contour. So I really enjoyed it. I used this shade here for my blush and it is absolutely stunning. I love the color of that. And I used this shade here as my highlighter and I didn't put it on wet or anything, but it is blinding already. Then I also went back into the palette and I used this shade here for my lower lash line and all of them paid off really well. There was a small amount of fallout in the pan, but there wasn't any on my face at all. So I really enjoyed it and I think it made my look really nice today and this is what the face products are looking like after eight hours i'm about to head out for a walk with the family so i will check back in afterwards so super quick check in for the bronzer the blush and the highlighter this is what my makeup is looking like after 12 hours it's almost 12 hours now that i've been wearing it i have been for a walk for an hour and it is a hot day here so i think it withheld really well so i'm really impressed with it so the premium box came to $321.25 and I paid $99 for the box. So once again, extremely good value for money. 
I am super excited to try all these products. As per usual, I would have added a clip of anything that I have tried prior to posting this. If there's anything that I didn't add a clip in or didn't trial out and you want to know what I thought of it, then let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to include it in a future video. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. If you're new to the family, don't forget to join the family. Hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you'd like to purchase your own Lumi box, then feel free to use my discount code for your first box, PureLotti10. Um, if you don't want to use it, that is completely fine. You can just head to lumibox.com.au and they currently ship to Australia, New Zealand and Singapore. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Bye!